All right, Bablo Rex here, and we got the last Warlock spec we're looking at. So I'm gonna be a link in this Wowhead post where I got these. It's six specs. They got data mined and up and running to go. And I'm taking a look at them. And some of the older ones may have been updated. I know Oracle has, but it's still under construction. You can check that video. But we're gonna be looking at Soul Harvester, which is for Affliction and Demonology. This will be the last of the Warlock ones, so we'll be able to see what you want as a Warlock here. Demonic Soul. A demonic entity now inhabits your soul. Okay, so they're a demon hunter. All right, they're a demon hunter now. Allowing you to detect if a soul shard has a succulent soul when it is generated. Ooh. Normal warlocks just grab the soul shards. A soul harvester is like, mmm, that's a succulent soul. That's one of them good ones. Mm. Affliction. A succulent soul empowers your next malefic rapture, reducing its soul shard cost by one, increasing its damage by 20%, and unleashing your demonic soul to deal an additional amount of shadow damage. So you unleash your demonic soul at them like, Ugh. I'm a demon. All right, Demonology. A succulent soul empowers your next hand of Gul'dan, reducing its soul shard cost by one, summoning one additional wild imp, and unleashing your demonic soul to deal additional amount of soul damage. What is the soul gonna look like when it's unleashed? I wanna see like a, a screaming demon soul fly out of my body and be like, Bleh! and then come back. I don't know. Necrolite Teachings. Shadow Bolt and Drain Soul damage increased by 20%. Nightfall increases the damage of Shadow Bolt and Drain Soul by an additional 50%. Alright. Demonology Shadow Bolt damage increased by 20%. Power Siphon increases the damage of Demon Bolt by an additional 20%. Simple. Soul Anathema. Unleashing your demonic soul bestows a fiendish entity. Oh! Onto the soul of its targets, dealing shadow damage. So it's a new dot. When your soul, when your demon soul touches the target, it puts a little demon imp on them or something. That's a dot. Demoniac's Fervor. Affliction, your demonic soul deals 100% increased damage to targets afflicted by your stable affliction. Demonology, your demonic soul deals 100% increased damage to the main target of your hand of Gul'dan. Diabolist is too good for... For demonology, alright? Or whatever the one was. Where you just... Maybe it was Hellcaller. All I know is the demonology one that I like is already chosen. So I need an affliction lock that's going to be a soul harvester. Because this sounds pretty cool. Okay, so choose one. Gorebound Fortitude. You always gain a benefit of soul burn when consuming a health stone. Increasing its healing by 30%. Increasing your max health by 20% for 12 seconds. Or friends in dark places. Dark pack now shields you for an additional 50% of the sacrificed health. All right. Shared fate. When you kill a target, its tortured soul is flung into a nearby enemy for three seconds. This effect inflicts shadow damage to an enemy within 10 yards every 0.8 seconds. So when you kill stuff, you fling their soul to a nearby enemy that then AoEs that then could fling its soul? What the hell? That's going to be crazy AoE. And then you got Feast of Souls. When you kill a target, you have a chance to generate a soul shard that is guaranteed to be succulent. Succulent. Alright. Choose one. Eternal Servitude. Fell Domination cooldown is reduced by 120 seconds. So that's like two minutes off. It's like five minutes or something. So that's a, I mean, you get, 
you'll have it up more often, but it's like, do you need it up all the time? Spirited away. Burning Rush no longer deals damage to you. Insta pick. Insta pick. I'm instantly picking it. And increase your movement speed by an additional 30%. I'm gonna be zooming! Burning Rush now has a 50 second cooldown on that. Oh. So it's sprint. So it just becomes a warlock sprint. I still like it better than the damaging one. I like it, dude. I'm spirited away. Let's go. Satiel's ambition. Damage dealt by your demonic soul is increased by 10%. Consuming nightfall infliction, demonic core demonology feeds the demonic entity within you, causing it to appear and deal shadow damage to your target. So it's like. I'm out. Blech. But it doesn't shoot at your target. Okay. Solanithma damage increased. You get a demon stand. Dude! So like Shaman with all the ancestors? I want this one to have the demon soul as your stand. Though. Your demonic stand. Behind you. Consuming Nightfall, Demonic Core, activate Shared Fate or Feast of Souls. Alright. Mantle of the Harvester. Oh, Satiel's the, the, the Scythe Lady. That's right. Mantle of the Harvester. Corruption deals damage 25% faster and heart, heart, heart. Hunt grants Nightfall. Demonology. Wild imp damage increased by 5%. Wild imps are imp that are imploded have an additional 5% chance to grant demonic core. I definitely feel like this feels more affliction for me because the one demonology one feels so good for demonology. Or just looks cool. Shadow of death. Soul rot grants shadow of death for 15 seconds. While shadow of death is active, casting malefic rapture Always invokes your demonic soul, and your demonic soul deals 10% increased damage. Demonology, nether portal, and summon demonic tyrant grant shadow of death for 15 seconds while shadow of damage, de death. Shadow of death is active, casting hand of Gul'dan always invokes your demonic spirit, and your demon souls deal, your demonic soul deals 10% increased damage. I gotta see what this invul invoking your... Invoking your soul looks like, dude. This could look really cool. I definitely feel like this more is more affliction. Um, I don't. What was the other one for? Was it Diablos or the the rituals? All I know is the warlock one where you're summoning big giant demons is what I'm doing for demonology. This feels really cool for affliction. And. Uh, I have to remember how hell color looked. The the other one that I'm missing looked. But overall, I think these are cool. Warlock ones seem fine. This one may be the least cool one, if I remember correctly. But um I'm not a big warlock player, so I can't wait to test this and see what it looks like. This has been the last one for this page. Uh maybe we'll do a couple of more that I haven't done, I'll have to make a list of which ones I haven't done. And if I get on the alpha or when that info gets out, I'll take a peek. Uh, but anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.